Zach Frazier is now getting first team reps at the center position. Please hit that like button if you think it's about dang time, especially after this sloppy loss by the Pittsburgh Steelers uh, against the Houston Texans. They end up taking the L 20 to 12. And look at three plays today, the good, the bad, the ugly, so to speak, in their performance under or with Justin Fields at the quarterback position. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell. All right, let's break it down. Let's get into this. I got to start off by saying that offensively, defensively, both teams, they were going to be vanilla. You weren't going to see anything extraordinary. You weren't seeing the defenses disguising anything. So we can't get too hyped about performances. And I don't think we should get too disappointed at the same time. On this play here, it's a play action pass. And you have uh, Van Jefferson here in motion. And what that does is that forces the defense to kind of show their hand a little bit. Uh, safety drops down in coverage. They're playing man. And what you're going to have is um, these defenders right here, hat on a hat, one on one. And offensively, what's going to end up happening is Justin Fields is going to play action pass to Najee. He's also going to try to chip that defensive end on the on the end there. Ends up kind of putting him back in position to end up hitting Justin Fields pretty good. But the uh, the routes in the bottom uh, mimic each other. It works. You know, this isn't a very complex play. And you know, guy wide open in Van Jefferson for a huge game. See, Justin Fields sees the open area there highlighted at the bottom of your screen. Van Jefferson playing the slot position, wide receiver two. Goes up, gets the ball. I like the placement of the, of the pass. He gave his guy an opportunity to run after the play. We'll look at it from the opposite end. Now, this is also the third drive, which is why uh, on the offensive line, you're going to see Justin, I'm sorry, you're going to see Zach Frazier at the center position. You see Broderick Jones on the left side and Fatu Anu on the right side. See right here at the top of the screen, you see the chip there by Nashi Harris on number 95 there for the Houston Texans. That's actually going to put him in position behind Broderick to be wide open for a, uh, a hit on Justin Fields. Now, these guys are still learning each other, you know. Uh, this is going to be something that they're going to start to feel. They're going to feel each other coming around the corner and things like that. And as they build that chemistry, we're going to see less and less of these quote-unquote mistakes. But he puts a pretty good hit on Justin Fields right here. But he gives his guy an opportunity to run after the pass. So on this play here, I think, well, the outcome is that it's an incompletion. It ends up being the only incompletion for Justin Fields on the night. But this is the uh, an incomplete pass that I think, one, could have been a completion. But two, the placement of the ball was very poor. And I think that this is something that Justin Fields needs to work on because, you know, in, in a lot of games, I want to say probably six out of ten maybe, this could be going back to the house. Uh, and you'll see why. So, um, again... Man coverage across the board, vanilla. What you're going to have is the wide receivers up at the top. They're in a trips formation. Pat Fryermuth and George Pickens are going to kind of cross behind each other. Or George is going to kind of loop behind. Pat Fryermuth run up the seam. Pat's going to cross towards the middle. And you're going to have Van Jefferson go up and then do an out 10 yards up. And he ends up getting open. It's just the timing is off on the play. See, so look at where... Van Jefferson has to turn around and just kind of reach back to catch the ball. Uh, I think that this was a catch. I, I was a little bit upset that Mike Tomlin didn't challenge this, to be honest with you. I mean, it's just preseason. Work on your preseason challenges. You know, Mike Tomlin hasn't been known for his good challenge decisions, whether to, to do it or not, and I think this is one he should have done. Now, I have here circled uh, Zach Frazier because look at the position of the ball when he snaps the ball. This was something that has been a little bit of a nightmare for the Pittsburgh Steelers centers for the last few years, going back to the last couple of years of Mike Pouncey's career. You know, there towards the end, his snapping became a question mark. Mason Cole's snapping was a question mark. So was um, Kendrick Green. Uh, it, you know, it seems here that the Steelers might finally got a guy that can consistently put the ball in the bucket when he needs to, or every time consistently, routinely. Now, he had position. He had time to throw the ball. Uh, a little bit of pressure on the backside, but nothing too crazy. I, I think he's in there. 
you know, two feet in right about right here. You can see there's two feet in here, here on along the sideline. I don't have the angle from the uh, NFL game and copyright reasons. I don't want to get in trouble by putting something like that on. Uh, they, it didn't appear that the ball got loose either. I would have challenged this. Now, in this last play here, well, you know what? Let's go back a little bit. But the one thing I really dislike about this play is, and I, I probably should have brought it up a little bit earlier, is right here, if look at the position of the cornerback. This could have easily gone the other way. And from this angle, you can kind of tell it's just it's getting there a little bit too late to see that. I wanted to just, you know, rewind that to show you guys back that this could have easily gone the other way and there's nobody out there. So this to me was probably the the worst play for him. Now this is the the sack that he's taken on the on the play, but I think this could have actually been his best play and at the offensive line held up a little bit. So what's going to end up happening here is he's going to look to the top of the screen. They're playing man, as we've seen, but everybody ends up being covered down at the bottom of your screen. Your last option and the last progression ends up coming open briefly. And I just kind of want you guys to see Justin Fields, his, his progressions. See right here at the top of the screen, he's looking at, at everybody. Everybody's covered. Down at the bottom, you're going to see Van Jefferson, who's making a pretty solid stake that the Pittsburgh Steelers don't need to trade for anybody big, that he can handle those duties. He ends up coming open at the bottom. But what I like here is that Justin Fields, as you can see right here, he transitioned uh, down to the bottom of the field. Now the pocket's already collapsed. He's already getting hit at this point. But just as he's about to you know, uh, feel the pressure and succumb to the pressure, he is transitioning to the open receiver. And he made that decision very quickly. Um, this The pressure dropped very fast. Let's rewind that a little bit so you guys can see. So it's paused here, but as soon as I, I mean, pause, I think on the other side, we'll be able to see it a little bit better. He looks to the other side fairly quickly. He changes from one side to the other. And, you know, if he had just a hair a second longer, I think he makes that that play. Now, this wasn't Fatuana's best day. And here also you have, uh, I believe that's Anderson, Spencer Anderson out there. And them two guys get beat. And that's who ends up getting Justin Fields. But I like his transition from one side to the field to the next. Even though he ends up going down, ends up being a sack. I think that here in preseason, you know, what you're looking for are those progressions. What you're looking for are those improvements. And I think that's one of them uh, that we've seen. He still has to work on the accuracy there uh, in that one play. But again, he, this is very he's, this is a new place for Justin Fields. I think that the expectation, you know, for the first game, you know, I, I would say that it was probably subpar of what you probably wanted or what I was expecting. I think I was expecting a little bit more. With that being said, you know, I expect him to take another step. You know, I mean, if he can clean up those mistakes and put some points on the board, you know, there's some flashes there. You know, if he can continue to make those flashes into a consistency and routine, he could be somebody. But again, this is just the first preseason game. Let's see how he does next week. Well, please hit that like and subscribe button, ring that notification bell. You know what to do. We'll be back. I'll probably be doing another one on Peyton Wilson and what I saw from him in the middle linebacker position. I, I think the Steelers got a stud. And I also want to show you a little bit of uh, a couple of plays from Beanie Bishop. So you don't want to miss them. Uh, stay tuned. Hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell. Until next time, peace.